I don't think life is that important. It's just not. It, it is not. People get too excited about life. Oh, life, fuck you. It's not that, it's... Make a list of every shitty thing ever that's in life. Life is okay, I like life. I like it, I don't need it. I'd be fine without it. I like life though, I do. You know how much I like life? I have never killed myself. That's how much I like it. That's exactly how much I like it, with a razor-thin margin. I like it precisely enough to not kill myself. It's an option, though. It's totally an option. I mean, I'm 49. I have two kids. I've flipped through the brochure a few times. I've thought of killing myself just to win an argument. You're not supposed to talk about suicide, even to your shrink. You ever go to a shrink and they're like, have you had thoughts of suicide? And you're like, no, because if I say yes, you'll press a button and folks will run in and hold me, hold them down. <laughs> but you should be able to talk about it. It's the whole, it's what the, it, the whole world is just made of people who didn't kill themselves today. <laughs> That's who's here. <laughs> is all of us that went, okay, I'll fucking keep doing it. It's Because it's, it's an interesting thing about life. Life can get very difficult, very sad, very upsetting, but you don't have to do it. You really don't have to do it. You don't have to do anything. You never have to do anything because you can kill yourself. If they send you a letter from motor vehicles, you have to come in and, no, I don't, I'll kill myself. You can do that. You can do that once, but you can do it. And it's interesting because even when life gets bad, people generally choose it over nothing. Even the worst versions of life, even a shitty, shitty life is worth living, apparently. Because <laughs> folks are living the fuck out of them. <laughs> you ever seen somebody and you're like, how did he, he should kill himself, why didn't he not? <laughs> that dude. You ever been driving and you look at the next car and you're like, oh shit. I wish I hadn't looked in that car. That was difficult to glance at, <laughs> let alone being it. Just a guy in a, in a tan car. <laughs> Nobody chooses tan. <laughs> Nobody picks tan for their car. They give you tan. <laughs> Is that mine? Yeah, it's yours, fucking loser. Made it tan. They shouldn't even make tan cars. It's mean to make them. <laughs> you look over, you see a guy in a tan car with just dents all over it and a garbage bag for a window. <laughs> what is holding up his suicide? <laughs> what is delaying it? What is keeping him from stopping being that? <laughs> and what would it take? What would it take? What would it take? Both windows are garbage bags? Is that... <laughs> Seriously, do you know how much misery is involved in a garbage bag for a window? Do you know how many separate moments of Shit misery. I canceled my insurance. I broke my window. Duct tape. <laughs> Here's the truth. Running away will not solve your problems. That's totally true. But killing yourself solves all your problems. It actually does. It even solves world problems. For you. Eh, what about ISIS? Kill yourself then they'll never get you. <laughs> Seriously, if everybody who's afraid of ISIS kills themselves right now, then ISIS loses. <laughs> because they live in a world of people that don't give a shit. <laughs> We're gonna cut his head off. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
It's not fun now. I think the worst part of being beheaded is... <laughs> the worst thing about being beheaded is that you look really dumb right after. That's the worst part. They go like that, you're like... Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Just that fucking dopey. I don't think they like beheading bald people because they can't do this thing. That's the best part. They gotta go like this. It's not as cool. So just shave the top of your head and uh, you won't have to worry about it. <laughs>